morning, Earthies and Botronians. This is Celery Propulsion. Today, I'm going to be doing a day in life with my daughter, Lettuce. Yesterday, Carrot had done the recording, and Jet suggested that I could do the video for the day. Lettuce is actually near me, so let's get going. Excelsior! Good morning, Lettuce. Did you have a nice sleep? You did? Let's get you changed. Lettuce always wakes up whenever she hears my voice, since Bortronians have excellent hearing. Now I get ready to change her diaper. Usually, whenever I finish changing lettuce, I get ready to feed her. At that time, Carrot is making breakfast. Sometimes Jet and Sunspot are asleep, but there are times where they are awake. Oh! Jet, Sunspot, time for breakfast! So, how are you doing, Celery? I'm doing well, Carrot. Lettuce is always sleeping like a baby, as the Earthies say. Of course, Mom! Babies as young as Lettuce always try and fail a lot. Sunspot! If you try and you make a mess, who cares if it's not a success? Try again till you try it enough, and your baby can do lots of stuff. Yeah! A typical day with lettuce involves her eating, sleeping, and playing. Although lettuce is not tired at the moment, she wants to play. I love you. Mm. You're so cute. <clears throat> Mommy's going to change your diaper after nap time. So, it's 11.24 a.m., and Lettuce is taking her nap. Around this time, I usually help Carrot with lunch, but sometimes I also check on the wagon in case Jet and his friends want to go to space. Now, I notice that the Fernambulator is acting a bit funny. I've noticed that once we came home from space last night, the Fernambulator was acting a bit weird. This will only take a few Earth minutes, and I'm almost done. I'll have lunch and then check on Lettuce. Don't worry, Celery. Your baby is doing just fine. She's so cute when she's sleeping. Oh, Lettuce, you're so cute. Mommy is going to fix the saucer, pump some milk, and have lunch before you wake up. Lunch is ready, Celery. Jet, sunspot, time for lunch. Where's Lettuce? She's still taking a nap. I just did some repairs on the fernambulator of the saucer. Was it hard, Mom? It was actually quite easy. There was only a minor adjustment that needed to be done. Anyways, how's Lettuce doing? Your sister's doing very well. Face is checking on her. I just need to pump some more milk before I start feeding. Bortronians can do bottle feeding and breastfeeding. That's right, Celery. Whenever I feed Lettuce, I usually get milk formula and mix it with different ice from our solar system. Yep. I also use a mix of baby formula, breast milk, Enceladus ice, earth water, and ice from Bortron 6. For now, I'm using breast milk to fill Lettuce's bottle. I really enjoy these Malkuba bites. I decided to make these while standing on my head since Malkuba means X upside down. Good job, Carrot! I remember that time when you made pineapple upside down cake while standing on your head. <coughs> Sunspot says that Lettuce would laugh hysterically when she sees this happening. Too bad she was taking a nap. Oh well, at least Lettuce is getting a good night's sleep every night. Good afternoon, Celery. I see that Lettuce is taking a long poop, and I'm assuming her diaper is full. Perfect timing to change the baby's diaper, face. I just finished pumping Lettuce's milk, and now I'm going to change her diaper. Lettuce must have taken a long nap, so I'll check her diaper if it's dirty. Bortronian babies have as many dirty diapers as Earth babies. As you can see, Lettuce has a dirty diaper. Did you have a good nap? Mm. You did? I love you. <laughs> mm. It's 2.30 in the afternoon, and now I'm going to start feeding lettuce. 
Linus's milk for now only contains breast milk that I've pumped. Mommy's going to adjust the wagon in case your big brother wants to go to space. Are you hungry? Okay, then. Hey, Celery. I noticed that you changed Lettuce's diaper and fed her. That's right, Carrot. I was wondering if you could refill her bottle since she took a very long nap. That sounds like a great idea, hon. Especially when an infant takes a nap for three Earth hours. Oh, thanks, Carrot. Lettuce is so precious, and she's our little bundle of joy. <laughs> Aren't you, Lettuce? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's three o'clock in the afternoon, and now I'm going to play with Lettuce before checking on the wagon. Yeah, boo -boo 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 -boo. I love you. Excelsior! <coughs> Excelsior! <coughs> oh my gosh! I can't believe what my eye parts just saw. Pinch me, Sunspot. <coughs> Ow! I didn't mean that literally, Sunspot. <coughs> What's so funny, baby girl? <coughs> Sunspot says that when you told him to pinch you, that when he did it literally, it made my little sister laugh. Oh, okay. Lettuce was cooing when I said Excelsior, and she actually said it. Isn't Lettuce too young to start talking yet, Mom? Sure, she may be young to start talking, but she definitely talks by cooing. <coughs> Aww. I'm going to play with Sean, Sydney, Mindy, and Sunspot. Good luck, Jet! Right now, it's 6.30 in the evening, and I'm going to change Lettuce's diaper. Again, Lettuce took another long nap. Mommy's going to change her diaper and then get ready for space. Wow! You must have had a lot of milk, baby girl. Are you having a good day? <coughs> you are? I love you. One thing I learned when changing diapers is to untuck the ruffle once opening up the diaper. This helps keep the baby skin much drier, especially since these diapers keep the baby clean overnight and during the day. In case Jet and his friends go to space, Lettuce always has her diaper changed and milk before we head to space. I just want to know what carrot is baking. Hey, Celery, I thought it would be a great idea to make solar system nachos in case you want to show Lettuce what the Earth looks like from a far perspective. That sounds like a great idea, hun. Mm. I visited all the planets, but I really want to see the Earth from different perspectives. I'm not sure if we should go to space, but it's great training for becoming an astronaut someday. That's the spirit, Sean. Hey, Jet, why did you go ask your mom if we could look at the Earth from different perspectives? What a coincidence! My baby girl really wants to see the planets at different perspectives. Hey, Sunspot! Car trip! I know that we've already done this, but is it really necessary that we... Five, four, three, two, one. Doors are shut, engines on, everybody in their place. Let's go into outer space! Ready, Jet, go! So, it's 6.45 p.m. and dinner will be ready in about 30 Earth minutes. So, we should start with Venus. Do you want to go to Venus? <coughs> Alright then. Venus is Earth's broiling hot twin. <coughs> it's okay, Lettuce. The saucer is perfectly safe. Now let's go farther out in the solar system. Shh. Lettuce, after Mars is the asteroid belt. Mommy is very good at navigating around asteroids. That's right, Jet. Excelsior! <laughs> now, we should zip over to Pluto. I can't believe I'm traveling past our solar system with any one baby. Lettuce is really enjoying the view. Do you love the tiny blue dot? Mm, you do? Hey, Celery. I just finished making dinner and also prepared Lettuce's bottle. 
All right, Carrot, I'll be there in a bit. I just finished feeding Lettuce, and now I'm going to give her a bath. Although Lettuce took a bath yesterday, she has had so many poopy diapers lately. Mommy is getting ready for you to go to bed. Did you have a good day? You did? It's 8.30 in the evening, and whenever Lettuce needs to go to sleep, I usually sing her a lullaby. I've sang a lullaby to Jet before, during our first thunderstorm on Earth. Well, that's it for the video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. As the Earthies say, thanks for watching!